Jackson, whom you've already met against Henry Tillman. Quick further word about Tyson, just extraordinary punching power. The upper body strength evident as you merely look at him. The upper arms enormous. The boxing skills perhaps developing, but certainly relatively minimal at this point in time. After all, just 17, but a superb teacher in custom auto. Henry Tillman, on the other hand, is an experienced fighter with a good left jab. Does not have a lot of punching power for the size and weight, but he moves well for a heavyweight. Excellent foot movement, and in this fight, as we begin the action, Tyson will have, I think, some greater difficulty in reaching him, though he goes with that right lead right there than he had against Milligan, the young man from Princeton University, whom he finally caught in the second round and did away with. First round action, and you see Tillman quickly moving on his toes. See that? Usually you get less and less movement as you get into the higher weights. And we saw very little movement in the Womack bout against his opponent, Benny Hurd. But here you're seeing Tillman move. The expectable strategy to avoid the thunderous power of Tyson. Third man in the ring in this bout is Jerry Duesenberry. Another of the accomplished officials I've discussed. He will not, however, be one of the four going to L.A. to work. First round action. You've got to do for three sustained rounds what Tillman is doing right now to stay alive against this young man. That much can be said. An enormous punch. He can paralyze you with a blow to the belly if he connects. Tillman well aware of that power. Seeking to score with the left jab and get out of there. Move, move and keep scoring as he did right there and right there. That's what Tyson wanted. He got him against the ropes and down he went. become the heavyweight champion of the world. Some laughed at that at him when he made that prediction about Floyd Patterson. As you've seen, the background awfully similar to Floyd. Different sections of the same borough, Brooklyn. So we have had one knockdown. And we're still in the first round, coming to the end of it. But remember, the knockdown in scoring counts for no more than a good, clean jab, and Tillman's landed a lot of those. We're going to stay. We'll go to... Mike Tyson in his corner. Right? A quick bat on the left ear from his handler, Kevin Rooney. Let me make it clear, Custom Auto does not work the corner. Cuss is in his mid-70s now, and you heard the magnificent thing he said about Mike Tyson. He said, this young man motivates the continuance of my life. He's what I live for now. And you look at the replay, the right got in, and then another right, and Tillman started to buckle, and the third right was what put him down between the bottom and middle strand of the strands of rope. The bell for round two. Just keep the jab in his face, the handlers told Mike Tyson. 
Tillman quickly again on his toes. Moving, moving, moving. Usually to the left. When you see a big man move, inevitably, you think back to the heavyweight like no other ever in history in terms of foot speed and, for that matter, hand speed. The name Muhammad Ali. been knocked down by DeWitt, the big Canadian heavyweight favored for the Olympic gold by many. He was knocked down, as I said, by DeWitt, but then came back. And in the next meeting and lost the toughie three to two to DeWitt. If you watch closely, Tillman is fighting very cleverly in this round thus far and effectively. He's scoring with that left. He's continually moving. And young Tyson, only 17, is having trouble deciphering. Now, Tillman right there. Scored three blows and then a fourth. And Mike relying on that wild lunging right. <laughs> Inside the final minute of the round, Dyson desperately trying to get to Tillman, having clawed him once in the first round. His aim for the referee to stop the contest. But he's got to score to do it. He's got to knock the opponent down to a point where he can't get up. He must rely on the knockout because Tillman is building up points very clearly in this round. Points by a huge margin, at least in my opinion. Tillman has fought a very intelligent round, knowing the opponent's strengths and his vulnerabilities. The final round, it is conceivable that the bout could hinge on this round. Tyson scored his knockdown in the first round. That by itself wouldn't win the round for him. It was a close round. Second round was overwhelmingly Tillman. So, in the corner, they told Tyson, get him into a corner, get him against the ropes. You've got to have a big round. You've got to pour it on him. Easier said than done when you're against a more experienced fighter with much better foot move. Still, there is that stunning power of young Tyson. But as I have mentioned several times, you go into a tournament like this, you must go in as a boxer. You can't just look for the knockout. There's Tillman flicking that left again. It is conceivable, based upon the box-off procedure that I described at the very top of our telecast, that these two could meet again on July 6th. It is conceivable. Remember, the most noteworthy opponent is selected by a duly appointed board. Coach Pat Nappy is one member and a very influential one of that board as Tillman keeps working the left. And Tyson has not been able to do what Kevin Rooney in his corner asked him to do. Get him against the ropes or get him in a corner and bang him. Yeah, right there, he's trying. Tillman covering. Right. 
Tyson has very little time left. He scored there, indeed. Crowd always looking for the knockout. Inside of 50 seconds, now left to go. Tyson scoring there with a the right. In the last 30 seconds, he is suddenly connected. Not once, but several times. But look, he keeps his distance from Tillman, and he'll never knock him out that way, as Tillman just keeps working the left, using the ring, covering well left, fighting back against Tyson's attempted onslaught. And we're near the end of the fight. So there will be no knockout by young Mike Tyson in this fight. Though there was a first round knockdown. The bell. And it should go to Tillman easily. In the meantime, don't forget this coming Saturday from the famed Wingfoot Golf Club in Mamaroneck, New York, maybe the most prestigious golf title of them all, the U.S. Open. And Jack Nicholas, I am told, has shot 64 and 69 in two practice rounds. And Be with us. The decision. Henry of course, exactly what you had to expect. After a tough first round that might have been given to Tyson. Tillman was clearly superior in the next two rounds. It was an unanimous decision, and the scoring was close in each and every judge's card. But it was unanimously and properly for Tillman. I said they might meet again in the box off, so they might. Tyson continues to improve.